friends. Welcome to uh, another mindful moment uh, here on Monday. It's now Monday afternoon, so whether you're watching this now or happen to catch it at another time, uh, just wanted to continually share some techniques and methods that can really help us truly just be better human beings. There's a lot of outside of ourselves that we do to search to help get us a little bit more in tune with what's going on in our hearts. And mindfulness meditation is essentially that method that can help us slow our minds down because we're able to draw direct attention to regulate our nervous system. And if you watched last week, I showed the Hoberman's Globe, the expandable ball that talked about the fight, flight, freeze of our, our nervous system. And when that happens to get tamed, which it can, we drop to another part of our parasympath parasympathetic nervous system. So that is the known as the rest and digest. And that's the part that's responsible for our ability to regulate our emotions, to see things clearly, to have a better frame of mind, a healthier perspective, for whatever kind of challenge that you might be encountering in life. Because the thing is this, newsflash, stress is never gonna disappear, but how you relate to it can. And this technique of using a straw, and I have three different ones here, and it just starts here, just making a conscious decision. Um, this is mindfulness in itself. We take it off the mat, we take it off the cushion into our daily lives. What kind of straws are you using? Plastic? Okay, let's think about the effects of that perhaps on the greater good of all of us. In restaurants, they really don't sell them anymore and there's a lot of um, other options. So just being aware, um, but whatever honestly straw you have right now to practice is helpful. But here's a metal straw. Um, I have a bamboo straw option and then also a paper straw. So, We'll get ourselves settled and I'm gonna talk us through this and the practice won't be very long. We'll just practice here for a few moments. But again, as you continue to develop a mindfulness meditation practice, just being reminded that the time here spent as you watch these videos is to help, is, a, is called a formal practice. It's helpful for you to develop a, almost like a sense discipline, but with an intentionality of what's, what's this all for? You know, why, why, is, why do I need to slow down? What seems so out of control in my life that I, I don't know what else to do? And just personally, you know, emotions are rough. Man, they can rob so much energy and drain you. Yet, when we can find these tools, you don't have to pop a pill for it or have a drink or go anywhere. It just helps everything make a little bit more sense. We might not fully understand what's going on in our lives, but it allows the body system to really connect on a biological level of keeping us balanced. It goes into the cells, right? Allowing this place of like true homostasis for our body just to kind of align. And that's done with this breath. It's what we come into the world with it's what we leave the world with. So how about we give it some attention, a little bit of love. Find yourself in a posture that invites, invites a spine that's tall, yeah, not overly stiff or rigid. You're not gonna get measured up by the doorway like you were a child to see how much taller you can grow, but you're just here. It's okay for you to close your eyes, please do. And I forgot to mention that if you do have a straw handy, great. And if you don't, no worries, you can still do this practice. But if you have a straw, just keeping it down in front of you. We're gonna start to just invite yourself to be here. Right, there's a sound of my voice going on. 
maybe some other noises happening in whatever room you're in or around you. Or perhaps there is an absence of sounds. Just becoming aware of any kind of thoughts that might be drifting in the mind. Maybe planning for the day forgetting, or rather remembering something. Or just what the heck am I doing here with my eyes closed and my friends, coworkers, or random strangers are gonna be looking at me oddly. It's just making note of what's here in terms of thought. And are there any ripples effect a ripple effects from those thoughts in terms of your emotions, like how you're feeling right now. Right? Is the body sensing tired? Or is it active and awake? Is there a lot of agitation or restlessness? Or perhaps a sense of solidity? Feeling a little bit scattered and unsure, or perhaps very focused. And just inviting your awareness to really become a little bit more in tune with what's happening just right here in this moment. And just shifting your attention now and towards the body truly feeling the body breathing, just noticing where the breath is happening. And exploring, exploring the breath. Noticing if you're catching a critical eye of, am I doing this right? I'm too fast, too slow, oh, I can't do this. Just, just breathe. Really invite your attention like a spotlight to just kind of shine on the breath. Like the waves of the ocean, it can be that ride in on the shore. And then just gently again fade away. The breath may feel fast or slow, but there's no rush to breathe. But to help in this process of regulating whatever emotions might be present, begin to find your straw. And just holding the straw, notice how it feels in your hands. If it's heavy or light, wet or dry, smooth or rough. And then just gently beginning to place the straw up towards your lips. And just noticing how it feels here against the lips. And for this practice, we'll breathe in through the nose. And then take an even longer exhale breath out the mouth as you breathe out of the straw. So taking a breath in through the nose. And breathing out fully through the straw. Exhale longer than the inhale. Continuing as you focus on the temperature of the air that comes into the nose. 
hits the throat and filters through the mouth. Notice any sounds of the breath. And if the mind starts to wander and drift, no problem. Just bring it back to the feeling, the focus of the exhale completely. Just landing your attention on the rise and fall of the body. Either choosing to continue the steadiness of the breath or perhaps releasing the straw and down and just coming back to this normal sense of breathing. And an invitation to check in here too. What's going on in the body? How's the body feel right now? Where are any thoughts of the mind? And just acknowledging here to yourself, maybe with a invisible smile or a gentle smile of, wow, I got this. I can actually breathe and focus for a little bit. And even if that's not the case, just smiling for the courage it takes to try something different. And as you're ready, beginning to open up your eyes and lift your gaze. So using this technique to drop into this, you guys, without this, we don't have much. I know it's hard to go there. It's vulnerable, scary. I'm in it, I'm in it right now. And, uh, but it's worth it. And so when we can go into this place of the regulating our stress response, using the parasympathetic nervous system, which is designed to help calm us down. And it's really activated the most when on the exhale breath, more so on the inhale. So using that as you go throughout your week, maybe it's a difficult conversation or it's a, you're agitated, the kids are in the back of the car or you're even on the phone with a loved one or it might just be as you walk and you're in nature. So there's no right way to do this except just showing up, showing up to the practice. And when you do that, you get to show up for yourself. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great week. And um, again, I would love to hear some of the comments and feedback after you try it or questions. I'm not gonna have the answers, but I will do my best to find them for you, or at least rather help you explore them and just see where it takes you. So I hope you have a great day. Share this if you know someone can help, that could perhaps hopefully help someone that you care about and you love, and most importantly, do it for yourself too. So I'll see you guys back next week. There might be a pop-up. Uh, here. Actually, there will be a pop-up. I'm just not sure what day of some meditation techniques um, throughout this week as well. So I'll see you next time.